Hello friends and welcome back. In today's quick video, we're gonna talk about how to seal and finish a watercolor painting. For most finished watercolor paintings, you may decide to either store them in a plastic sleeve in your closet, which is where most of my paintings end up, honestly, or if you decide to frame them, generally you're going to wanna to put them behind glass with an archival acid-free mat. Now lately I've been playing around with other surfaces like wood boards prepared with watercolor ground or aqua boards, or even some of these charta panels. There are a lot of really great options that are flat, warp, free surfaces to paint your watercolor paintings on. And you can actually treat those a little bit different with how you finish them. You don't always have to frame your watercolor paintings. So for example, today I have my snow leopard painting. This was done on a cradled wood board. The watercolor paper was already glued on the board and finished that way. It's a New York Central art supply panel. This was a beautiful surface to paint on. If you'd like more information on how I did this snow leopard, check out this video. But this painting still needs to be sealed or varnished just to protect it from damage. And the most important aspect of sealing a painting is that you want to protect it from any kind of humidity or water damage. The nature of watercolor is that it can be reactivated and we don't want that to happen with our finished painting. So we're going to try the cold wax medium today. To seal and protect today, painting I'm using this Gamblin cold wax medium product you can get these from pretty much any art supply store make sure that your surface is completely dust free lint free and to apply the cold wax medium I'm gonna use a rubber glove just because I don't really want to get all over my fingers I'm a little bit of a neat freak when it comes to messy things here so we're just gonna take a dollop of the cold wax medium and I know it's a little scary to rub something on the surface of your painting but remember wax is not water and it's gonna be just fine. So go ahead and take your wax and just evenly spread it across the surface of your painting. If you like texture on the surface of a painting, feel free to use a brush or something that's a little bit more bristly to apply this. You could also use a, a lint-free cloth or just your clean fingers. There are lots of options for how to apply it. But you can see that the watercolor stays completely put. It's not gonna go anywhere. The wax is going to seal the surface completely and it will be water resistant, humidity resistant, and just protected from the elements. The wax feels really nice and smooth and I love how it kind of removes the texture of the paper almost when you coat the surface with the wax. It's just smoothing the whole thing out. We will need to let this dry for a few days before we buff it. And you can choose not to buff it if you like the texture but buffing it will just help smooth it out completely. The wax is going to give it a matte finish. It's not gonna be shiny. I'll show you what I use at the end of this video if I want a shinier gloss or varnish on my finished painting. So check it from all different angles. Look at it in different light to make sure that you've covered every area. And you can see it really is so easy to seal a painting this way. So I just wanna smooth it out, make sure I've covered the entire surface. You can also add a second coat, by the way, but I wouldn't do that until after this one is dry and you've buffed the first coat. You might be asking, do you do this with all your paintings, even ones that you intend to frame behind glass? And the answer is no. <laughs> if I am matting and framing a painting, usually if it's on watercolor paper, I don't even seal those paintings. I just put them in the frame without varnishing or sealing them but you certainly could varnish and seal them for added protection before putting them in that finished frame. But anything that you're gonna have hanging up that's going to be exposed to the elements, it's such a good idea to seal it or varnish it like this first. There we go, so you can see that up close. It has not smudged or affected the artwork whatsoever. And we will let that dry for about three or four days. And then we'll take a soft cloth and just lightly buff it and it will be all finished and ready to go. So as you saw, the cold wax medium, very easy to use, really simple to apply, does not mess with your watercolors if that's something you're scared of. The other varnish I like to use is this Krylon UV Archival Finish. It's a gloss finish, non-yellowing, protects your painting against fading, dirt, moisture, and discoloration. This one I usually apply two to three coats, and I always have to do this outdoors because it smells bad, y'all. And so that is one advantage to using the cold wax over the varnish. This does not stink up your whole studio. You can apply this indoors 
Whereas this, you have to have a nice day outside where you can apply it. Um, but it does work really well. I've used both of these products and love them both. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it dispels any ambiguity around finishing and sealing your finished watercolor paintings. Thanks for watching today. Check out this next video and I'll see you right over there.